Welcome to the Directionally Challenge Hiker. I am planning a six day, five night Grand Canyon hike. Um, I leave Thursday. We'll spend the night on the rim with a friend and a daughter, and then we will head on down the Hermit and come out the Bright Angel next Wednesday. Um, got my pack all packed up today, um, including the food and water, and just figured I'd let you know what's in my pack. I will give you fair warning. I probably bring a few things that are not necessary, but I enjoy having them with me. Um, first of all, this is not in the pack, but they are going and they were in the final weight. I've got a pair of black diamond trekking poles. Um, I really like them. I got the flick locks, but they are a necessity item for the trail. I also have my Nikon D5600 um, camera. I'm just bringing the standard lens with it. The zoom lens was hanging off the pack and was a little bit heavier than I wanted to be, so I cut that. But I have this, and we'll skip out on the zoom lens for this trip. But the GoPro is going because I would like to get some video and stuff along the trail and at Granite Falls. Um, another necessity item is right in this pocket here, a pair of Tava sandals for when I get to camp at night. Um, first hike I did overnight, I did not bring sandals and it's not a whole lot of fun at the end of the day trying to shove your feet back into your hiking shoes when they're tired and you're tired so you can go to the bathroom and going barefoot is not happening. So these go with not the lightest weight, but they will also serve when we do a little up creek hiking on Saturday. Um, so let's get, we've got the Deuce of Spades shovel here attached to the outside of the pack. We should have outhouses every spot we're staying, but just in case of emergency, that is there. And then in this outdoor pocket, we have our water filter system. Um, did a video on this before. I have the Sawyer filter. That's my spare bag this time, um, just in case we have another failure. I picked up another bag. I'm not sure what brand it is right now. It will hold up to a gallon and a half of water, but seems to have a much more robust handle for carrying it. And then I include, I just kept the, um, the Sawyer filter and the tubing that came with the other filter bag. So we will be filtering our water all but the last night is the plan. And then we have some paracord. I have not needed it yet for a backpacking trip, but it is there just in case. Um, here we have it's small, it's a little plastic bag. It is some tenacious tape. Um, it is absolutely amazing on the trail for uh, tent repair. And I also did repair on an air mattress on a long hike one time. So, um, and in there is, shake it down a little bit. I've got some duct tape wrapped around a straw just in case we need some of that. But yeah, tenacious tape definitely needs to be in the pack and it works wonders. Uh, let's that back up. Let's go in this top pocket here. Well, I'm turning it back around. Um, this is a Xena 85 liter women's pack. I got it about five years ago. Um, it probably doesn't help my cause with packing too much, but it holds stuff. I've got my Grand Canyon map. Um, I'm familiar with where we're going. I've been down there a few times now, but it doesn't hurt to have a map in case we want to day hike somewhere, check out something that we haven't seen before. Um, biggest thing with maps, make sure you have a current edition as the boundaries do tend to change. I have an older edition and the boundaries are different. We also have another necessary item. We have our black diamond headlight. Um, so we can walk around at night and not get into too much trouble. I have a little bag here. Um, I've got extra batteries for the camera. I've got two of those in there. And then I have six triple A's. Uh, the headlight takes them. My tent will also take them. I have one of those mountain glow tents, so I'll get that out in a minute. I have a small wallet. 
I've got my parks pass in there right now. I will put my driver's license in there for some ID. I usually throw in a little cash. Don't need it on the trail, but just in case we have that. The next pocket, um, this is going to be a necessary item. Uh, they're predicting mid 40s at night right now. That doesn't include any wind chill. I know that they were seeing 30 degrees last night with the wind chill of 20 or 19. So the puffy jacket, it's all, it bundles up pretty nice and tight. Um, the puffy feather jacket is definitely a must if I want to not be cold. I have a pair of gloves. Um, they're just, I think they're a wool blend. I'm not quite sure. They're very lightweight, but just enough to keep my fingers warm if I need them on the trail or if I want to, you know, enjoy the stars and stuff at night at camp, I will have those. Then we have some essential, some non-essential here. I've got bandanas. Bandanas serve many purposes on a hike. Um, so I've got three of those since it's six days. I mean, they're really lightweight. I also have a small New Testament um, Gideon Bible. It's gone on a couple trails with me. I have I had bought a pocketbook type Bible, but I'm trying to cut a little bit of weight because I did bring a couple extras this time besides this stuff. And so I brought that instead. I have a little composition book. I do like to journal when I hike. Um, I, again, I downsized. I had a slightly bigger one that I've used for a couple hikes now, but this, I was trying to shave a little weight so that I could bring a couple things that are kind of extra items. So there's that. We have a, just a little extra dry sack bag. Um, if it does start to rain, the camera will go in. The, the camera fits in there pretty nicely. So I have that. And then I have a little tiny lightweight tripod that works with a Nikon. I'm hoping we got a full moon on Saturday night and maybe some star pictures. So it's really nice to have the tripod for stuff like that. And that pocket is empty at this point. Um, the front have, have a, a Leatherman Skeletal. Um, it's got a halfway decent blade. The pliers are the big perk on that. Um, I have used them to pull cactus out and then they have little screwdriver bits. I've used those to tighten the flip locks on my poles. Um, couple extra carabiners, scrunchies. Okay, I have long hair. I need scrunchies. I have in here, it's got the, I'm not gonna take it out. It's got the camel pack water bladder compartment. I have a three liter bladder in there right now by Osprey. I only have two liters of water in it because I will be carrying, you can see in the one pocket, this will probably have water or tea in it, but uh, Diet Coke 1.25 liter bottle. I will actually have two of these. I don't have the other one in right now, but that one will probably go down empty, but they're easy to fill with a filter, easy to drink out of. I don't enjoy drinking out of my um, little hose thing when I'm around camp. These are, you know, much easier with dinner. All right, front pockets. In here, I love hip, po hip pockets. I've got a baggie for trash. I've got two goo packets right now. Just, you know, they're kind of nice for a quick, um, quick kick on the trail. Um, the baggie is in there because if I have any wrappers, I do not want my pack to smell like food if I can help it because the critters will chew on it. I actually did, probably can't see that, but they chewed on that pocket one night by Lava Canyon Rapids, even though I had emptied the pack out but just from me touching it. This pouch has um, some tea packets that are handy. Like when I first get to camp so I don't have to dig stuff out, I will make some iced tea with the creek water. I have a little Swiss Army knife. Um, it has tweezers and scissors that this doesn't have. and. If I could get one knife that does both, I would. I haven't been able to find one that weighs less than these two combined. So this goes with two. Um, and I have used both of them on hikes. I have chapstick. That is 
one of those necessary items when you're on the trail. A lighter. I have a friend going with, so I'm just bringing one source. Last fall, I managed to fall in a creek, get the lighter wet, and had to borrow one from someone else for dinner that night, but it did dry out. I shoved that stuff back in that pocket. All right, we're gonna flip it around and open the top part. Oh yes, we've got our permit attached in a little plastic bag there. Let me see if I can get this to flip around. We have a Rav Power solar pad. I don't always bring this, um, but it will recharge my GoPro batteries and it will also keep my Garmin uh, sports watch charged up for me. So again, if I was going by myself for a longer hike, I would probably just go with a standard, standard watch and might skip this because it does add some weight, but since the GoPro is going and my friend will also borrow this, so we will share that. I have the cooking pot kit. I'm sorry, the backpack will fall off the bed. Um, it's a titanium cooking pot, if I can get it out of here. The lid. Um, yes, it is an eight ounce container. It is not full. I like it because it is very stable with the little pocket rocket stove that I have. Um, so I know they sell smaller ones, but I do cook, most of my meals actually are not in their pouches. They're pulled out of their pouches and I will just cook them directly in the pot. And then I have a, I think it is a Sea to Summit titanium spork. It's got some wear. So I'm just gonna put that over there. We have we have a six liter dry sack here with my clothes in it. Um, I might open that up in a minute here, but basically I've got a pair of Nike running shorts, a tank top, sports bra, two pairs of socks. Plus, I mean, I will have a pair of socks on. I'm bringing an extra pair of socks this time. Just when my husband and I hiked up the creek, they got really gross and stretched out. I also have a pair of long pants, a long sleeve, like technical fabric type shirt to pull over, a pair of kind of wool blend leggings and a top to sleep in or wear around camp at night. And I think that is it, but yeah, a little bit more clothes than I would bring for a warmer weather hike, but we might be facing some cold weather. I have the food. This is an out sack, rat sack, with six days worth of food. I've got, usually do the mountain house. I've got one in the pouch. One night we're doing a dry camp, so I don't want to have to wash the pouch, pouch out. Um, the other ones are, I've got them in a freezer bag along with my oatmeal and freeze-dried fruit and stuff for breakfast. I've got them just put in smaller, light, lighter weight bags. We also have some breakfast bacon, some Swedish fish, I've got some paydays in there, um, I've got some chocolate covered almonds, yeah, quite a bit of food. I do have, they're hiding because I've had mice chew on them through this, um, some pita type breads for lunch with cheese sticks. So that's, that's the food. We then have the tent. It is a big Agnes. Fly Creek. It is a two-person tent. Yes, there's only one of me staying in it, but it is more like a one-and-a-half-person tent if you've ever seen one. Um, so, kind of like that extra space. If, if it's raining out or something, the empty pack will fit in there with me. It also keeps the mice from chewing on it because even if you empty it out at night, there's certain areas where they like to chew on it. And we're going to shove that over there. We have, there's two, I will call them mystery items in here. Um, I'm gonna have some fun on this hike, I hope. So, got a surprise for my friend. So the mystery items come out to one pound, 9.4 ounces, but I will not be pulling those out of the pack. 
All right, we're going to flip it back over here. Um, it has a nice sleeping bag compartment. And we have, um, this is my, I have one of those Zen Bivy um, 30 degree quilt systems, you know, with a little mattress cover um, and a, I have an inflatable pillow, you know, it's little, I think it's Sea to Summit or something. Um, again, I might get that out in a minute. We have my Thermarest Neo Air X Therm air mattress. These things are amazing. This is the one that had the trail repair, but it still works. Lightweight, um, does help with the cold ground. It, you know, it's got a pretty decent R factor on it. So that's in the bottom of the bag. Then we have this pocket over here. Has got some essentials, mostly. First aid kit, which is um, there's a copper spur one person tent footprint bag, but since it's the tent material, it's fairly waterproof, so if the pack gets rained on, it'll stay pretty dry. That's your standard you know, aspirin, um, Benadryl cream. Okay, the ants really like me and I itch really badly. Got some triple antibiotic ointment in there. Got your basic band aids, some mole skin. I do have one of those um, emergency like foil type blankets, just just in case. It doesn't weigh much. It's a very very lightweight um, first aid kit. Serves its purpose. All right here. I know, I, I am bad, but I cannot live without some basic toiletries. Got a toothbrush, little tiny tube of toothpaste in there. Yes, that's deodorant. You can't go six days without that. There's actually a little thing of dental floss. Um, I will use that. And it is also one of those things that I think if some emergency arose, it could have some other uses. I have a little pink comb. I went and bought a kid's comb one time. Uh, my hair would be a total disaster if I went six days without combing it. I have a, there's a tube of lotion in there. Yes, maybe not necessary to some people, but I will have dry skin to the point of my legs have actually been almost bleeding after many days on the trail. Q-tips, I know, a little overkill for some people, but I like it. We've got my toilet paper in a Ziploc. Um, pulled out the paper tube to try to save some weight so I could bring some extra junk with me in my pack. We've got a wear contacts, so I've got a tiny bottle of saline, a container, and I actually have an extra pair of contacts. I will not be bringing glasses with, so if I lose one, I can't see. I need a spare pair. Um, so fun, feminine stuff. It's got to go. And I think that's it for this pocket. So that's pretty much it. Yes, yeah, the pack is much smaller and lighter without everything in it. I'm gonna drop that down on the floor here. Move the food out of the way. Um, so I will pull out the clothes that I'm bringing. I know, I've got quite a bit of stuff. Gotta get it all back in there too. But this is my clothes. I do prefer, I love warmer weather hikes. I really do, they bring less clothes. Socks. I have two pairs of these in there, plus the pair that I will wear, begin the hike with. Um, I just, I will rinse stuff out in the creek at night. Basic you know, sports bra, bikini top, because you'll probably get wet in the creek and river. Um, my go-to, Nike shorts, little tank top. Um, I know it's going to be cooler, but when I'm hiking, I'm pretty warm, and I can always pull the long sleeve shirt over it. it dries quickly if I want to get it wet. They fit under, these actually fit under my hiking pants, so that's convenient. I've got a pair of, had them a while, just, uh, I think they're, what are you, I don't know what they are. North, like, north, whatever, hiking pants. Um, they're nice. I will definitely need those as the day goes on. My extra pair of socks, um, there's that. And then I picked this up last year when I did a November hike. It is, let to see who makes it now. It is smart wool. So it's a wool blend, leggings, and a little top to go with it. Basically like fancy long underwear, but the wool 
If it does get wet, it's supposed to still keep you warm. It doesn't smell too bad after six days, but I slept in this last time, which I will probably sleep in it again. And I'm hoping to spend a little bit of time outside my tent after dark, maybe taking some pictures, just enjoying it. And I want to be warm. So if it drops down in the 40s and it's breezy, I will be warm. So we've got that. Let's just kind of toss that off to the side there. And then let me see if I can get the pillow out of here. I'm pretty sure it's, it's a sleeping quilt system. I, I started out with a mummy bag. I cannot stand mummy bags. Um, but I like the quilt because I can sleep on my side. And this is a little cocoon travel pillow, inflatable. Um, probably the best $27 I spent. And that's what my son told me when I bought it five or six years ago. That is about all that is in my pack. And yes, I know there's definitely some stuff that most people wouldn't bring, but I do. I enjoy photography. Um, I'm hoping to play with the GoPro some on the trail, get some video, have some fun down at Granite Rapid with my friend. And yeah, just enjoy it. But I will, um, if you watch the video so far, if you can uh, comment a guess on the weight of my pack back, do it. Maybe I'll bring something home from the canyon and whoever's closest, I'll mail it out to you. But other than that, this is a non-sponsored video. All the stuff in here I have purchased on my own. Um, I may talk about more of it if anybody has questions on it about what I like, dislike about certain things. But other than that, I will be wrapping this up and hoping to get it out there before I head out Thursday morning. Have a great one.